Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be going over the G63 G Wagon. Before we get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Mercedes Benz of Salt Lake for giving me some time with this G63. This particular one is still available for sale for the time being. So if you're interested, I'll include a link to their website in the description down below. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Powering this is a twin turbo four liter V8 that goes through a nine speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 13 around town and then 16 on the highway with power outputs being a whopping 577 horsepower and then 627 pound feet of torque. Now, before we go over the front end, I do want to mention, if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, you guys can see the Mercedes logo front and center. And then I love how the turn signal indicators have been blacked out on this particular one. Coming down below, the headlights have also been blacked out. You got the cool daytime running lights with the subtle AMG badge just right next to that. And then we got the Mercedes logo front and center. And then we've got the brush guard here at the bottom in normal G63 fashion. And notice how that's also blacked out. And putting it all together, this just looks like an absolute tank and it actually kind of is. Coming around the side here, our time wheel setup is 295, 40, 22 in the front and over in the rear. And obviously being an AMG means we've got massive brake rotors and a massive caliper. The smallest wheel that you can actually fit on a G63 with this setup is 20 inch wheel. And then look at the fender flares, those are really cool looking. We have our AMG badge, we also have our V8 by turbo badge. And then notice how we've got the side steps that are kind of like connected to the fender flares. And then we've got the exhaust tips coming out the side with the AMG logos on them. And then here's your full side view for the G63. This thing just looks like an absolute tank. So here is the key fob for the G63. You've got your lock and unlock function. You got the AMG logo here and then also on the back as well. Now in normal G-Wagon fashion, Makes a really cool sound when you open up the hatch. And here's the cargo area. We've got a cargo cover built in from the factory. We actually have a full outlet here in the back as well. And plenty of storage space, especially vertical space, because this is literally a box. Almost forgot to mention, look at this. Quilted leather on the back, and then we got this sturdy grab handle. But the coolest thing is when you close it, it makes such a satisfying sound. Got our G63 badge here. You guys can see parking sensors. And every single time I see the license plate holder on a G-Wagon, I think that it's like the Batman logo. It kind, doesn't it kind of look like that? Is it just me? Anyways, got a recovery hook here in the back. And then you guys can see you've got the upgraded shocks with the G63. They're adjustable. And then we've got the spare tire here in the back as well. Wrapping it up, let me know what you guys think about the aesthetic, but I think this is one of the coolest looking modern vehicles out there. Now taking a look at the door panel here in the rear, you can see beautiful leather and then look how it's quilted in the center portion. We got carbon fiber down below that. Speaker for the Burmester sound system. We have heated seats as well and look how nice the window control is. And there's the door panel. Look how the stitching and everything continues all the way to the bottom. Now I've got really nice stitching here. You guys can see the design in the center of these seats in the back as well. Now my feet are like this just so I don't track any dirt under the carpets, but anyways, you guys can see legroom back here is actually pretty good. It's a lot better than the previous generation G-Wagon. Got a little storage pocket here, vents here in the back, and then we've got our own climate zone for the back as well. And then of course, headroom is really good because again, it's a box. Now taking a look at the front door panel, you guys can see same beautiful leather trim with the quilted design, carbon fiber down below, got some storage right here. Memory seat function here on the door panel with the seat adjustments, speaker for the Burmester sound system, heated and ventilated seats. You've got your door lock and unlock controls also on the door. And then you guys can see with all of our window controls, the mirrors, by the way, they do power fold in and they have blind spot monitoring. And then look at the leather trim here, AMG logo, and then perforated all down the center portion. And then we've got really nice looking pedals. We've got our parking brake here with our light control. Lane keep assist. We've got our parking sensors on top of that. And then the steering wheel is power adjustable. Now, before we move on to the next feature, we need to talk about today's video sponsor, Morgan and Morgan. Now, believe it or not, the modern world is actually a pretty treacherous place. Every single time you go out for a drive, there's a chance that you could get into an accident. You could be walking in front of a business. They could have something on the ground and you could slip and fall and hurt yourself. And on top of that, you could just be doing your job, right? Like you always do. And something could happen and you could sustain a major injury. This is a topic that's very important to me personally, because I drive about four 
40,000 miles per year for the channel. And so there are a lot of situations that I'm put in on a day-to-day -day basis where accidents almost happen. Now, knock on wood, nothing's happened for years, but there's always the chance that something could happen. And well, this is where Morgan & Morgan comes in. They are America's largest law firm with over 100 offices, over 800 lawyers, and over 4,000 case staff that are all ready to help you out. And one of the best parts about working with Morgan & Morgan is that things like the negotiations, the court hearings, and the research associated with putting together a case are all free unless you win. And so if you're involved in some kind of personal accident, whether it be a car accident, a slip and fall accident, or an accident at the workplace, then you might want to get help from Morgan & Morgan. And on a little bit of a side note, don't feel bad about hiring an attorney. Remember that you're suing the insurance company that is worth billions upon billions of dollars they can more than pay for the compensation that you deserve. So if you are injured in an accident, then you can check out Morgan & Morgan at www.forthepeople.com slash Ben Hardy, or you can give them a call at pound 529, that is pound law. Again, www.forthepeople.com slash Ben Hardy or pound law. And it looks like the uh, chicken's rustling in the back. They agree, go with Morgan & Morgan. Now take a look at the steering wheel, it looks so cool. You've got the golf ball texture here on either side and then look at the leather trim there at the bottom and then also at the top as well. AMG logo, got the drive mode select here and then you can adjust different items depending on what you have selected on the other screen. Controls here for the center stack, controls there for the infotainment system and then also your volume controls and then cruise control integrated there. And then look at the paddle shifters here. Just such a cool looking steering wheel overall. And then you got your turn signal stock and then our column shifter as well. Now taking a look at the gauge cluster, we got this full digital gauge cluster, but my favorite part about Mercedes digital gauge cluster is first off, it kind of doubles as like a secondary infotainment system. And this isn't obviously the most modern uh, version that they have, but still looks really good. And then you can also change how the look is. And then notice how it's like carbon fiber. It's not real because it's obviously on the screen, but it, it's still cool. Now the G63 actually gets this full 360 camera system which is great because it's not like the biggest vehicle on the planet, but it's still pretty large. So it's nice that it has it. And resolution is frankly fantastic. Now as for the rest of the infotainment system, it's not a touch screen. So this is uh, not Mercedes newest unit, but frankly uh, with the dial and with the keypad and everything, it's, it's really easy uh, to use this infotainment system. So even though it's not a touch screen, it's no problem. And while we're on the screen, we can go over the drive mode select. So we've got an individual comfort sport, sport plus as well. There's also a slippery mode with this so it's cool you have all the different drive modes and then you'll notice we got really nice leather trim all over the dash here carbon fiber on the grab handle which i think is a cool touch and there's also carbon fiber around the rest of the screen as well and then we got the normal mercedes vents which are circular now we do have our lockers here in the center so we have a center rear and front locking differential and they're ordered one two and three in the in the order of how you would use them if you're in an off-road situation now down below we've got our dual zone climate controls here for the G63 and then you guys can see with the buttons for the radio controls and then look at this carbon fiber trim right there as well got some cup holder action and then you guys can see the little charging ports as well and then there's more carbon fiber all in this area so this is one way to control the infotainment system this is another way it's a little keypad basically so they double down with the controls so you can kind of find your preference volume control here this is to open up the valves for the exhaust and that's just for the camera your low range stability control that's for the suspension and then you got your manual mode and then obviously your drive mode select and then look inside the center console there that's really nice storage and then we got some nice stitching and leather and it goes all the way down here and there's even ambient lighting so that and look at the ambient lighting over here too it gives the g63 a really cool effect and i guess while we're in this area I'll show you guys the glove box got good storage inside and then up top here you guys can see more burmester sound system action but we've got a sunroof and we've got a really nice premium headliner as well and that's kind of all over obviously so here's a window sticker for this g63 um you guys can see the standard equipment on this and then the base MSRP right there, 179,000. And then this one has quite a few options added to it. After all options, this one stickers for $197,850. With that being said, let's sum things up.
Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's visibility of the hood, both of the mirrors, which do have blind spot monitoring, and throughout the rest of the rear. And, well, with that being said, I suppose that it is G63 away. This is gonna be a little bit of a shorter drive compared to normal. Um, there's quite a few time constraints today. And so it just, uh, it's gonna be best this way. And if you guys are wondering why I'm going through this way instead of the normal test drive route, it's because service with the Mer uh, with all the dealerships, not with the Mercedes dealership, uh, is closed because it's a holiday today. And so for me to get around the lot because the gates are closed, I have to, I have to go through this way, which I guess this is good to test the suspension of the G63. See the damping and everything through this lot because there's quite a few bumps and everything. Um, but anyways, you know, if you guys follow the channel, you know that I'm a huge just G-Wagon fan uh, in general. And it's not for the normal reasons that people are G-Wagon fans. Most people like these because it's, it's a status symbol, right? And that is definitely true. But the reason why I personally like this vehicle is the build quality. The fin finish on this is just absolutely fantastic. And then on top of amazing build quality, it drives so like the, the driving experience is so unique. It's not for everyone, that's for sure, but I love it. The reason why I love the driving experience with this is it literally feels like you're driving a tank. The only other vehicle that you can buy that feels somewhat like this is a V8 Wrangler, but the Wrangler doesn't have the luxury experience that the G-Wagon gives you because this also has really good ride quality. It's, a, I mean, it is, a, you know, a box, so there is a bit more wind noise compared to other vehicles, but ultimately it's, you know, it's, it's pretty well insulated. Like it, it, it's not like as insulated as like a Mercedes S-Class, for example, but it's, it's pretty good. And on top of that, it just, it feels so cool driving this. Like this is one of those vehicles where you get in and you just feel like, you just feel like a boss driving it basically. Now I'll pop it into the Sport Plus mode here. Everything will get a little bit more aggressive in this mode. And I do want to mention, uh, visibility is actually really good in the G-Wagon. Obviously, I, I kind of, you know, showed that a little bit earlier, but like seriously, having, you know, a big boxy SUV with a lot of square windows, it really helps out when it comes to overall visibility. And the throttle is so sensitive in the Sport Plus mode. <laughs> I'm just getting on it a little bit. Um, if you guys want to see like, uh, more like full-on acceleration. I've done uh, those with other G63s. I don't feel comfortable going like all the way into the throttle with this uh, being a new vehicle. And uh, that's also why I'm just taking around the block for a much shorter drive than normal. Um, but anyways, summing things up, I've driven quite a few G-Wagons now. I think I've driven almost, let's see, over the, because I started filming these for the 20, either the 21 or the 22 model year, I can't remember. And I've done 550, 63. So I'm at like, plus the G-Wagon squared. I think I've, I think I've reviewed a total of I think eight to nine uh, G-Wagons. And you know, this is gonna be probably somewhat controversial compared to some other things I've said on YouTube. I think this is, in terms of SUVs, I think this is the pinnacle of the automobile. And just hear me out. Um, aside from like, I, obviously looks are subjective. Like some of you will like the looks of this, some of you won't. Outside of that, the build quality that this has, the tank-like driving experience, plus the luxury driving experience, plus the off-road capability, there is nothing else that you can buy on the market that is quite like a G-Wagon. Again, this is coming from someone who owns a Rubicon 392. I love my Jeep to death. It's such a cool vehicle. It's not a G-Wagon. Uh, and so, you know, as ridiculous as it may sound, I understand obviously the whole status symbol thing um, with this, I understand uh, the price premiums from that perspective. I can't remember where this thing was parked, so I'm gonna have to figure this out. Um, I think I'm, I think it was by the, okay, now I remember. Anyways, I, I think I kind of understand it. Again, it's a status symbol, but it's just like, if you have, if you have a chance, just go and open the door and sit in a new body style G-Wagon. And I think that you'll, you know, at least somewhat understand. You might not be able to understand the, you know, $200,000 plus price tags on the 63s and all that, but I, I think it'll still give you an idea of why people love this vehicle. Okay, we're good there. Love this vehicle so much. It's just, it's so well built. And again, the driving experience you get, you just feel like you're driving this tank-like thing and it's so cool. And, you know, hopefully, if I work hard enough, I'll be able to own one. Not a 63, but a 550. <laughs> 63 is a little bit too much. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about the G63. Let me know what you think about the G-Wagon. That's all.